All right, guys, we got a lot going on right here. <laughs> guys doing today leave it in the comments down below there is nothing that excites me more than when I get a comment notification and getting to hear from you guys my community here on YouTube good or bad I am here for you I am getting ready to go on vacation soon I'm so excited we're gonna go visit my sassy grams she is 91 years young and I just look forward to this so very much I want to be her when I am 91 <laughs> and I'm wearing a phony uh, nose ring. I I just want to admit right now, it's it's fake. I haven't worked up the courage to do the real thing. And after being in labor for like 20 some hours and having a C-section, I'm still scared to get my nose pierced. It's true. It's true. So I've already put some thought and planning into this because otherwise I think this video would be 755 million years long. <laughs> because sometimes making decisions when you're going on vacation is really hard because you're like, I don't really know what outfits I'm planning to pack yet. Like, I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing. We are not like pre-planner vacation people. So I kind of try to plan for, you know, casual, dressy, everything in between. First of all, because sometimes I, I forget to pack this kind of stuff. And then I'm like, oh, crap. I have a little baggie of the little rubber bands, some bobby pin some little hair clips i'm like okay throw that in the makeup bag that'll come in handy jewelry this year sometimes i go a little overboard with jewelry but i think i'm gonna keep it pretty simple this year i will say ever since having my daughter i'm not a super jewelry wearer um i'll put on like simple little things to accessorize with but i used to like i have a fairly large accessory collection and i just don't reach for it that much part of it's because since having a kiddo I, d I don't get dressed up that much really have to pack wisely this year okay because it's tropical in florida i was like these are too cute not to pack my little pineapple earrings aren't they a Adorable and they're so shiny and sparkly. I love them. I do think I will bring a little nose ringy to pretend like I'm brave enough to get my nose pierced. In heat, I don't like heavy, like bulky jewelry. It's just like, uh, and it's so humid in Florida this time of year. So I thought some little very lightweight crystal hoops, little pink studs. I will also bring my favorite diamond ear studs. I don't have them down here. Forgot to grab them. And then these are super cute little multicolored circles. Favorite earrings at this moment because I will say my wardrobe is like majority pink. Like there's other colors mixed in, but like 99% of my clothes have some pink in them somewhere. It's my favorite color. I love it. Okay, and this wasn't because of the Barbie movie. It was my favorite color before then, so all of you who are jumping on the pink train now, get behind, okay? Pink is my favorite color. I actually have pops of pink all over my hat. It's like, yeah, it's my favorite. Aren't these cute? I saw these at Target and I couldn't walk past them and they're so lightweight. I love these. And then my favorite little animal print hoops. They're so lightweight, they're like a acrylic or plastic. And then I think these are just pretty, if I'm wanting a little bit dressier, just a cute little pink dangle, would you call that? And then for fun, I've got two different packs of nail. One's in like nail art and the other is actual press-ons, little pink press-ons. And then these are the Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine little ultra shine little stickers. And since we'll be doing a lot of car time, I thought, well, it might be fun to pop on my nails while we're driving. So that's like the accessories part of things. Let's talk fragrance because I, I went really crazy. I, I can't lie. I know this is way too much fragrance to take, but my list keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And also it's very redundant. You're going to see it as soon as I tell you these, you're going to be like, wow, a lot of those are really similar, but I'm just so ready for vacation. Okay. I'll start with my mix bars that I'm going to take. Coconut Palm love this this is kind of interesting coconut not tropical not sunscreeny like a little dressier a little bit unisex i'm gonna bring cloud musk because this one is truly just like a very dense thick almost clean musk that i really like pairing with other things and i think it helps radiate fragrances off of me and then i am bringing vacation by I thought this was just called Vacation by Vacation, but it's like a Queest or something. They also sell sunscreen. It smells so good. 
This is an EDT, but it's like pineapple and coconut. It smells exactly like sunscreen. And then I am bringing my Salt Air Pink Beach Body Spray. This is creamy coconut, almond blossom, and vanilla. This is very creamy. It is definitely coconutty. I definitely get that almond in there. Um, it's definitely an almond blossom. It doesn't taste doesn't taste. I don't taste my fragrances. I smell them. It doesn't smell like super nutty and definitely get the vanilla. Then I'm also going to bring my Bath and Body Works whipped coconut milkshake. Mmm, it smells so good. This is vanilla cream, van I can't read, vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut and sugared amber. I'm a sucker for amber and sugar and coconut. So yes, and the reason I grabbed that is because I think I will bring the matching body cream because I was like, what lotion do I want to take? And this one is just gonna smell so good. And then I was like thinking yesterday about what else to take and then a uh, Redolescence video popped up on my feed and he was talking about the dossier dupe of Mason Margiela Beach Walk. And I was like, I need to take that. This is stunning, stunning. But I did pick up the actual by the fireplace one time and full price. So, and it was like literally this big. It was so small. It was expensive. But the longevity was not good because I believe they're all EDTs where Dossier is an eau de parfum. But Beach Walk, you guys, is a masterpiece in my opinion. And I love the look of the Mason Margiela, Margiela, I can't say it, Margiela bottles. Like this is nothing to brag about. Dossier bottles are boring. It's true. The OG actual bottle is so freaking pretty. Like it would be so pretty if you like have a pretty fragrance display like they're just there's something about them they're so beautiful because they're like antique -y looking but I can't justify the price but I will say it is they knocked it out of the ballpark with uh, beach walk and by the fireplace I also really like coffee break too but anyways I'm packing the dossier dupe of beach walk has bergamot pink pepper lemon aquatic accord ylang ylang heliotrope coconut musk cedarwood benzoin tonka this is sunscreen but elevated I, I just love this and I get a very salty like beach air vibe in here it's so good I, I couldn't resist and then I was like well since I'm bringing the vacation I should bring my Comptour Sud Pacifique vanilla vanille Banan. I can't speak French. And this is truly banana Laffy Taffy. Only complaint is it fades into just a pretty vanilla. The banana does fade off, but I was like, this would be pretty to mix with some others. And then I saw my little fragrance petals from Pin Rose sitting over here. And I was like, why don't I just pop those in for fun? I have Gilded Fox for two of them, which is like a rum boozy vibe. And then Secret Genius, which is a lovely white chocolate. I'm thinking about taking the Sunrise Moon by Pacifica. I keep going back and forth on if I love this, if I want to keep it. But I was like, you know what? I don't really have anything like just fruity in here. So I think I will pop this in. This honestly is a very nice peach. It smells more expensive than it is. This is a cheapie. It's also clean, but it's like a very jammy peach, like very jammy. Think peach rings like the candy bomb right yes very much peach drinks i get something kind of spicy in there as well it's very syrupy peach and then because i'm trying to use these up i'm going to bring garden party by skylar very sweet almondy almost gourmand but still fragrant boardwalk mm, 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 mm. coconut milk and cotton candy i will be picking up a full bottle of that i Love it. I hate rollerballs though. Skylar, please. We're all begging you. Turn your monthly subscription into spray bottles. If you turn it into spray bottles, I would sign up so freaking fast. Seriously, but I hate rollerballs. And then Nest Indigo. Mmm, this is so good. It's so unique. I mean, truly, the flower that's on here, I don't know what kind of flower this is, but it is the fragrance. It's very deep and like kind of gothic it's just like a dark smell like a dark berry but with some floral and it's just like it's moody okay it is moody this would be great for a date night it's like mysterious so not that we won't be going on a date night while we're on vacation because we're gonna have a two and a half year old with us but that doesn't mean I can't smell like I'm on date night all right so that's the fragrances I'm gonna pack yes half of my suitcase will be fragrance I know 
Oh wait, <laughs> I forgot some other things. <laughs> so I do have three more fragrances. I am bringing my sample of Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods because I've been wanting to play with this. My Blanche Bet by Liquid Imaginaires because <laughs> I'm on vacation and I have nowhere else ever in the world that I would need to um, wear a $400 fragrance. I mean, I didn't spend $400 on this sample, but the full bottle is $400, and I saw that Juliana's fragrance is coming out with their spin on this, and you know that will be in my shopping cart so freaking fast. And then, of course, I have to do what I did on my holidays by 4160. This is Beach Mint Ice Cream Cotton Candy, and I really like this, but I haven't given it a true wear, and I'm so excited because if I love this on as much as I love sniffing it, then your girl's getting a full-size bottle. Okay, that is truly all the fragrance I'm bringing. That's all, that's all, that's it. Now let's talk about makeup. Two important tools I'm definitely taking. My Stands Out Beauty sponge, which I will be washing, and my Huda Beauty little powder puff. You can get cheapies on Amazon. It does the same thing. Products. Lip products. I am trying to use up this little teeny tiny ColourPop lip liner and I'm so sad because the writing is gone and I don't know what it is, but it's like my favorite lip liner. Favorite. I need to figure out what that is because it's literally my favorite. And then I'm going to bring a more like kind of almost whiny colored uh, lip liner. It's actually what I'm wearing today, but I kind of blot it out, blend it out, and it really matches with my natural lip color pretty well. And then a bright pink, a baby pink, my NYX lip oil, because it's what I'm wearing today, and it's just such a pretty, like, easy, nudie color. My Barbie lip, uh, what is this, Barbie butter gloss, love this, very pigmented. My NYX plumping gloss in pink sugar, it's a glitter. And then my two favorite liquid lipsticks, which I can't believe I'm saying that because for years I've been anti-liquid lips, but these are so comfortable. This is the Smooth Whip by NYX in Push and Cushion and Pillow Fight. These are so comfortable, very comfortable, and they really smooth your lips out. Like, these are comfortable. I can wear them without a problem. I'm trying to finish up my P. Louise eye base. I, of course, am taking my... Too Faced Better Than Sex Foreplay Primer, which I got an influencer because I'm trying to use this bad boy up. I do really like it. Like, it does its job. I'm not wearing it today, and that's why my lashes just look kind of okay. Like, they're not bad, but they could be more oomph there. This gives them more oomph. It makes my cheapy mascara, the e.l.f. roller lash, is that lash and roll, it gives it more oomph. But this is hard to remove, my only complaint. Lip and Snatch and Thick It Stick It Brow Mascara. Those are brand new, just opened them. They're ready to go on vacation. My others were getting real low and dried out. I will take, just because I already have it in there, the False Scara Bond and then some Strip Lash Adhesive. I'm not bringing any major lashes. Taking these little PCs, I think this is by Ardell. These are kind of handy when you just want to add like a little more volume. Just a quick mention, because this is handy, I always bring, it's like 90 something percent rubbing alcohol. This is an old brush, daily brush cleaner. I've emptied out and I just put it back in there because if you need a quick sanitizer for your brushes, like you drop one on a hotel room floor, mm, this comes in real handy. My e.l.f. camo color corrector and e.l.f. concealer. This is in light peach, brand new. Just pop that in there. E.l.f. putty blush. This is the only cream blush I have in my collection anymore. This is the one I believe it's called Bora Bora. It's like very pink and I do enjoy it. Let it go, let it go. Okay, now some powder products. I keep my Artiste Couture Gold Digger in there because I'm trying to use it up. I'll probably get rid of it after this trip. My Huda Beauty setting powder, so good. I'm doing a Note Blush in Desert Rose because I like it. This is a bit peachy. And then my ColourPop in Petal Pusher is like a purpley Barbie pink. Like it looks a little purpley, but it goes pretty pink on the skin. My Glowish Bronzer that this stuff literally lasts forever. Like I'm telling you, I use it basically every day and it's not gone yet. Like this thing lasts. And then my e.l.f. contour palette, honestly for a cheapie, this is pretty darn good. I also am keeping some little 
eyebrow razors in there. I think vacation is a good time to try to use up things that are kind of getting old in your collection because it like forces you to use it because you don't have other options with you. So I did put in a couple primers, the Shiseido Synchro Skin, which I really like, and then the Blur Activator by Joa. And you got to have a good setting spray when you go somewhere hot and humid like Florida. This is the Revelate. I cannot talk ever. Revolution Super Fix Setting Spray. This I think is supposed to be a dupe of the um, one size. Honestly, I think this holds my makeup on really well. And then because again, afraid of breaking, leaving something in a hotel, I'm not gonna take my most high-end foundations. And I'm also taking things that kind of match my skin tone right now and I'm gonna get more color in Florida. This is the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. This is actually very light on me, but some of these others are a little bit dark, so I think I can mix them and use it. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is dewy, the dewy one, but it's beautiful and it's not overly dewy, like a really good foundation. And the Wet n Wild Stick Foundation, which actually came broken from Amazon, buy it in store. The Maybelline Super State 24 Hour Skin Tint, and those are the only foundations I'm gonna bring. I lied. I totally forgot I have this Morphe cheek and lip color and honestly I like never reach for this so this might be a good excuse to do so. Pink me up. So hey, I'm glad it'll be in there. My two color pops, this is Bubbly and Ladybird. If I had to pick between the two, I would repurchase something like this. Uh, this is, these are both ultra glitters but I don't find this one that glittery, glittery. it's more metallic. This is glittery and it's so pretty for a very simple eye where you just kind of like pop it all over to have some sheen. My brown and black NYX eyeliners. And then I've been using this Flash Cat Eye by uh, L'Oreal. I do like that it comes with this but I don't find myself reaching for this stencil. But I do feel like this stays put pretty well. I, I'm always having trouble finding a liquid eyeliner I truly love. I have hooded eyes. It's hard to find something that stays put. And then my, I think this is like, what, cowboy or something like that. Something, midnight cowboy glitter liner. I usually don't use it as a liner. I usually just use it as a glitter and kind of pat it out with my finger. I will tell you, picking out eyeshadow palettes to take is really hard for me. Like, really hard. Um, I usually end up picking the same thing and I probably will but I'm going to take a quick browse at my palettes here. I honestly could get rid of so many of these because I just don't. I reach for the same ones over and over and over again. But yeah, I'm going to take what I normally do. I usually end up taking my two Jaclyn Hill palettes because palette one has so many lovely neutral shades in there but then these pops of like blues and like turquoisey and green which I really like and the two lightest shades in there are beautiful for an inner corner highlight and then this gives me all my fun warm tones honestly like I could get rid of just about every other palette in my collection and I would just reach for these truly they're so good I love them now the really hard part of picking out outfits and yes I did get my daughter and I a bunch of matching outfits to take on vacation I'm so excited I have to soak in these moments now while she lets me Oh, and I'm so glad I thought of this. I've been saving this and I keep forgetting it's down here. I'm gonna bring the Honey Bunch Wishful Huda Beauty. This is Yo Glow Honey Flower Enzyme Scrub Honey Whip Peptide Moisturizer Silk Balm Honey Kiss Plumping Lip Balm. So I'm definitely gonna throw this in my travel bag because hey, that'll be handy and fun to play with. Okay, that's truly all I'm bringing. That is all. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. I will see you guys in my next video. Stay well. Bye-bye. <laughs>